appositional bone growth is the way that bones get thicker. When a bone grows thicker, it has to also hollow out the medullary cavity so that it doesn't become too heavy. So the way that that works is osteoblasts on the periosteal surface will start to lay down new osteoid, new bone. And so, you know, sensibly, this is the way the bone will grow thicker. But at the same time, what happens is that the osteoclasts on the endosteal surface will start to degrade bone. And so it will start to uh, give a wider medullary cavity. So looking at the next picture, I can see here is where the outer periphery of the infant's bone was. But so much extra um, osteoid was placed on top of it that the bone grew much more uh, wide. And the osteoclasts actually degraded away what was the uh, width of the infant bone. And so in this picture, we can see that in a child, the bone is growing wider and the medullary cavity is bigger. And the same process will continue to occur. And so what will happen here is that during childhood, osteoblasts are gonna lay down new osteoid on the periosteal surface, right? So we're gonna grow new bone on the periosteal surface. And looking at this picture, uh, that's what they're showing us. They're showing us that the child's bone, the outer periphery was here, but so much osteoid was laid down on the outer periphery that the um, new width of the bone is out here. Sorry about that. And at the same time, what happens is the osteoclasts degrade away bone from the endosteal surface, making that medullary cavity bigger. That's the basic premise of appositional bone growth.